I'm Joe Godfrey, and I'm a composer and sound designer, and welcome to this title on Pro Tools 11. And we'll get to this piece of music later on. So, who uses Pro Tools? Pro Tools does several things that are very important to the process of creating music and sound. It records and processes audio files. It lets you lock to picture so you can compose music and sound design for video. And it lets you record and process musical sequences using MIDI keyboards. So, if you're recording a band in a studio, or you're a front of house engineer and you want to mix that band's live performance, or if you're a composer sitting alone in front of a MIDI keyboard ready to score a movie or create sound for a game, or if you're a sound designer working in radio or the theater and you need to play audio on cue, or if you're headed off to the other side of the world to finish your project using your laptop, Pro Tools can do all that. Pro Tools has been around since the early 1990s. Here's a revision list since November of 2010, but it goes back quite a bit before that. We've had the ability to digitize and process sound using computers since about the mid 80s, but you needed a standalone computer like a Synclavier or a standalone synthesizer like an emulator to do it. In fact, Pro Tools got its start as an editor for emulator samples. And I think the reason Pro Tools caught on is that they offered a variety of hardware options and you could learn the software and then work on that same app whether you were working on a desktop in your home or with a room full of gear in a professional studio. And now, of course, many of us use laptops to create our soundtracks. And Pro Tools 11 is perfect for that. Because as of Pro Tools 9, you can use the computer's sound card for input and output and you don't have to drag around external hardware. That's a huge paradigm shift for Avid, who makes Pro Tools. They've always been kind of a hardware company who sold you software to run on their hardware, and now you can operate without their hardware, or you can operate with any of the various flavors of hardware that they offer. I think another reason Pro Tools caught on is it reached critical mass fairly early. When people started using it, more people started using it, and pretty soon a lot of people were using it, and that meant you could collaborate and move your sessions around from studio to studio or from artist to artist, and that was something everybody really wanted to do. You can use Pro Tools for something as simple as storing an idea when the muse strikes, kind of like an audio sketch pad, or something as complicated as scoring a feature film or tracking, mixing, and mastering an album of songs. So in this title, we'll explore some options for recording and processing audio files and creating musical sequences using MIDI controllers. Let's get Pro Tools up and running and start making some sound. <laughs> 